Well, hey there, everyone. My name is Ben from Circle Canoe Games. And today I just wanted to pop on and talk about something really cool I got in the mail I wanted to let you know about and kind of give my, my first impressions. I recently saw something online called Proto Pads, which looked like uh, prototyping kind of pads of paper. I was, said I was interested and they sent me some stuff. And what they sent me is so cool. Uh, it came in this box and uh, it's this whole game prototyping kit that I wanted to show you and uh, you know, give you my first impressions, talk about how I think this would be really useful for newer game designers especially. So let's go ahead and dive into what's in the kit itself. Let's open this puppy up. So in the box, we get all this stuff. And you know, when I first contacted them, I knew I was gonna be getting some samples of these, uh, the cards that, uh, are, you know, or what they named for, protopads. But then they also included all this other stuff, you know, these colored pencils, pens, uh, and I think that's so cool. Um, and I don't know if they're gonna be selling a kit like this later on, but um, just my first impressions are, this would be such an incredible box for uh, someone to open if they just said that, you know, they're interested in making a game. This would get them off to a great start with the things they need. So aside from, you know, these cards and, and paper pads that they've made, there's some other stuff in here that I want to call attention to. First, handy dandy sticker. It's always nice to have. Uh, there's a few dice in here. Let me see if there's any more. Four, four different colored dice. Uh, small size, really nice for throwing together some quick ideas. Um, we've got some different colored gel pens. We've got a pack of colored pencils. And a pencil. And of course this handy dandy box. So, you know, I think this is, again, a really nice starting kit for making games for anyone. Let me crack into this paper and talk about what these look like. All right, so represented here are three different packs. Uh, there's the card and hex pack, there's the token resource pack, and there's the dice pack. Uh, and so let me just kind of go through each one of these to make sure uh, we understand what's in them. And uh, yeah, first impressions are um, one, there's a ton of uh, paper on here, right? That's gonna give you a lot of chances to be making different things. It's not like, oh, I used one and I didn't end up making a final game out of it, so I wasted it. There's a ton of paper on here. I'm not sure how many sheets, but lots to experiment with. Um, and one thing I wasn't sure and I'm happy about is the weight of the paper. The paper is a little bit thicker than, uh, you know, regular printer paper, but not so thick um, that it's not flexible. Um, again, I think it's the right balance between um, a little bit thicker and uh, still getting a ton of sheets on this uh, pad. Okay, of course, these sizes are really handy for throwing together quick ideas, very standard, larger style size tiles and standard size cards um, for putting things together. Um, the only other thing I would wonder if something in this pack would be like maybe a two inch square tile. Um, I know there's a lot of games uh, that use something like that. Of course, once you get into cutting a square, that's pretty easy to cut yourself, but at the same time, um, I could see that being handy in a new game designer's kit. Okay, next we go on to the token and resource pack. Uh, these are a lot smaller, obviously, right? We see the hex um, right here. See the comparison of size. Here we have a little square, a rectangle, triangle, and circle. Um, I like the different shapes, right? The, that um, can be really useful in game design when you're having things represent different ideas or different resources. Um, you know, some of these you could even make into uh, a board, but really, you know, these definitely seem like what they are. The tokens that you need, the resources that you need, um, and again, the same quality paper that I think uh, feels pretty good. Feels like you could write on both sides if you need to. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's handy. To be honest, these feel a little bit less useful, like the, the rectangle one or the little square ones. Maybe um, just myself, you know, I've cut like a million of these at this point, or I have other ways I, I tend to represent smaller resources. Um, so maybe these aren't 
these two aren't quite as useful as these. So if I were to change something, maybe I'd say instead of putting this in here, maybe do one larger square in there or something like that. But you know, everyone's game design process is different and probably giving you all the options possible makes sense from their standpoint. Um, again, really cool. And in conjunction with the other set, that makes a lot of sense. And last, um, I didn't know about this at all when I was um, saying I was interested online, but they have these, uh, these blank dice and then a pad of stickers um, that will fix right onto the face of the dice. Of course, um, if you've designed games before, you've likely tried something like that. And uh, again, it, I think it's just a really great idea to have that handy. Each pad, um, each sheet in the pad uh, will do one whole die. And so you've got a lot of different experimentation of ideas in here to, you know, bring your games to life and say, you can change the probability, you can change, you can make little icons, you can all kinds of things on these little uh, sticker faces to let you quickly make ideas. And in fact, I have, uh, I'm, as soon as I finish the game I'm currently working on, uh, I have another game kind of in the hopper ready to go, and that is a roll and write that requires some custom dice. And so I will definitely be using these um, in order to flesh out that idea. All right, so that was just like a first view, first impressions. Uh, and I just wanna make it clear. I'm really excited to use these. Um, I think it's a great idea. It's the type of thing uh, that probably has crossed your mind if you've made games before of like, ugh, I really don't wanna have to cut out hexes or, or triangles. Um, even cards uh, can feel laborious when you just wanna get some quick ideas out. Um, and one way I really see them being used by myself and hopefully by other newer game designers is uh, that process when you're trying to work through an idea and I don't need to make the whole game yet, but I need to make a set of like 10 cards that I'm picturing to see if the core mechanic works, right? And so I don't necessarily see myself making the entire game hand drawn. I tend to work into a computer pretty quickly, but that pre prototype stage where I'm working on ideas, I'm trying to get things and understand physically how they will interact. I think these are gonna be really, really handy. Um, in order to kind of see how it will look on the table. How much space does it take up? How much information can I get on these cards where it makes sense? All those types of things are really, really handy. I already said I'm gonna be using these dice in the next few days in order to make my next game. Uh, and I think these tokens, um, while right now I don't have any immediate ideas to use them, I think they're the type of thing that um, I will find a use for because they are so convenient. And that's really what you're getting here. You're getting convenience that allows you to more immediately make your game. And that's a win in my book. And one last thing uh, before I leave, I wanted to leave you with this thought. Uh, when I got this box in the mail and I opened it up, my two young boys were there. And of course, they're very into making games of their own, like many kids are. Uh, and as soon as they saw this, uh, my one son said, oh, I really need those for the game I'm making. You know, and he saw this and he instantly saw how this would be useful and be helpful to him making his game, right? Cut out the task of cutting things out so that he can just make the game more easily. And I think that sums up uh, these proto pads perfectly. Uh, thanks so much for sending them to me. I am really excited to see what people make with them and I'm excited to use them myself.